Steve Parker, you know that this is the Talk to the Mayor program. We've got a whole, uh, what do you call them, a dias, a dias, a dias? We've got a whole group of people here with us tonight, and this being the um, the second uh, Monday in September. We didn't go the first Monday because that was Labor Day, so we are live right now on your community access station, NCTV, and uh, a little bit after, uh, geez, a little bit after 7 o'clock. So uh, we've got a... I tell you, we have gotten, the mayor and I have been getting demolished all day long with more information that people want to talk to about more stuff still coming in on, uh, on the show. So uh, we got a lot of things to cover. And, of course, um, he's your mayor. Roy Zartarian, how are you? Good, Stephen. Yourself? Good. Back to the bow tie, huh? Oh, yes. We need the bow tie. We yeah. definitely need the bow tie. Red, red, white, and blue in honor of the day. Yep. For uh, September right. 11th. Yeah, September I flag 11th. Out. The flags are at half-mast, understandably. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a brief but meaningful ceremony this morning uh, conducted by Newington Volunteer Fire Department uh, at fire headquarters um, with sirens going off at the time. Each of the towers was hit by a plane. Mm -hmm. The flag was uh, brought to half-mast at each occasion. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Everything came back this morning, let me tell you, because for one thing, the weather today <sighs> exactly the same. is exactly, exactly the same as it was Beautiful blue sky. Uh, in 2001. Beautiful blue sky day, and all of a sudden you hear, an airplane went into the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. And then you follow up, you think you're a small plane, some, yeah, some yeah, fool. Yeah. Uh-uh, no. Day that changed us all. Yeah, I remember and, I just getting ready to go to work. Yeah. Like, wow, you know. But it is one of those days that you'll never, ever forget. You, you where, you, forget. Where, where were you when you first got the news? I was at work here in the town hall, mm -hmm. and I first heard about it. I, I remember specifically I was in the assessor's office doing something when somebody came in and said something. Mm -hmm. And then all I could think about when everything settled down is I remember when I was growing up, my parents would talk about Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. that meant, how much that meant to them. And September 11th is our December 7th, you mm -hmm. know, for our generation. Yeah. It really is. I just remember how, um, how they basically told everybody to go home. Yeah. Right after it happened, you know, go to your families, you know, just that was offices it. closed, you know. And we all kind of clung together. So yeah, yeah. My two sisters worked in New York. One lives in Manhattan. The other one lives outside Manhattan. The one who lives outside Manhattan had to stay with the one who lives in Manhattan because the trains were shut down. Mm. She couldn't get anywhere. So. I was at the Michael Jackson concert the night before in Madison yeah. Square Garden. Wow. And at the last minute, I decided to take the train home. And wow. in fact, Michael Jackson was stuck in that thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that was something. But, yeah, but uh, speaking of the ceremony that you had this morning, yes. uh, we do know that uh, um, the fire department has uh, had a, a few things going on in the last couple of days and even more stuff coming up, so much so uh, that right. you've got them on the show. You better believe it. You <laughs> better believe it. We have with us Commissioner Jerry Langeal. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Mr. Mayor. And Captain Jack Nisclata. And this is the month, this is the big month for the 100th anniversary celebration. Mm -hmm. Even though the fire department, I guess, was officially organized in April of, uh, it would be, what, 1917? Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had to do that with my head. <laughs> Originally, we, we celebrated from 1929 uh -huh. because uh, that's when the Articles of Incorporation began uh, through the state. Okay. And <clears throat> we carried that forward from that point on, but since um, we've become uh, better historians over time oh, and, and researched that there was actually a functioning fire department for this town uh, in 1917, so uh, we decided to really celebrate our okay. real birth date. Absolutely. Our, a functioning fire department in 1917. Hard to believe. Really, mm. really. 
In fact, um, uh, I, wanna, I also want to point out that, uh, that uh, Tree, Chief Schroeder wanted to be here, and he did quite a presentation to Kiwanis, but unfortunately, I guess he's not, he's not feeling that well. I would like to say the same, uh, that, uh, yeah, he, he really did want to be here, and, uh, and Chief Schroeder uh, fell ill today, so he, uh, he couldn't even be at the ceremony, and he never misses that mm. for uh, our fallen... Uh, Firefighters. Well, that's 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 an amazing uh, memorial that you have out front there too, because mm -hmm. that took a, a took a long time to put that together. Yes, yes. Because originally it had the beam, but you hadn't really built mm -hmm. the memorial the way you wanted it, right? Correct. And yeah. and it was all based on uh, donations and volunteer labor putting it together, as correct. I understand. Is that yes. correct? Correct. Which is really. So and that, a lot. that is so actually a, a piece the of the a piece of the of the tower. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, um, good. I would like to also state that um, I was fortunate enough uh, maybe about two weeks ago to visit the museum down oh, Ground wow. Zero and go up in the Freedom Tower. And uh, anyone who hasn't been there, I uh, highly advise that you go. It's uh, very emotional mm -hmm. and probably spent uh, three hours walking through the museum itself looking at all the exhibits and mm -hmm. probably had another hour at least to look at and we kind of had to rush it along mm -hmm. to catch the train but um, highly advise if you haven't gone it's um, something to see and and that is down at the side of yes. the towers the, yes. The, yes yes okay that's quite a uh, quite a setup you have in front of the firehouse I know that was very uh, that was a dream for a long time and to really bring that to fruition took uh, took quite a bit of work yeah. Oh, great! Look at, there. Look at that shot. Great people helping out. It was a, uh, it was a very, uh, very nice uh, contribution. By how did all. you get the beam? Well, there was an application process, and each town would have to fill out, or fire department would have to fill out an application, and you were selected. And then um, there was a whole list of uh, things you had to agree with. Like one of the things is the beam couldn't be altered. It can't be drilled. It can't be. Um, uh, defaced in any way. It has to stay Can't exactly. Can't paint it or anything like that. Correct. Mm -hmm. It has to stay exactly the way you received it, and but you can display it. Mm -hmm. So that was a tricky part in itself, trying to get this piece of uh, metal to to sit without um, welding or drilling mm -hmm. or anything like that to it. So it was a challenge. Well, I tell you that th to be able to uh, to be able to get a hold of that. And I know for a long time, you, it was out in front there, and people probably really wondered what the heck it was. Mm -hmm. And without, if they hadn't heard from you specifically, how did they get, did they get it here? Did they ship it to you? Did they go get it, or what, what is it? Came on a tractor trailer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Came on a tractor trailer, they delivered it to, I believe it was the highway garage, and we unloaded it, mm -hmm. and then brought it over to company one. Oh, well, boy, that's amazing. So they went there, are there, um, are there quite a few of these, or how many, was there a limit as to how many fire departments can have them, or did you just go through the application process, or what? I believe there's, a, there's probably a piece in almost every fire department. Right. Yeah. Really? In, that's uh, wonderful. In the United States. Good. I mean, wow. we're on, in Kensington, I know there are three stations. Each station mm -hmm. has one. So. Oh, boy. And that's something. Yeah, you really have to drive by at night yeah. to see oh, the effects right. with the oh, lighting. Right. It right. Is, the nighttime, yes, yeah. It, 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 if you haven't been by at night, drive down Main Street, slow down, or pull into the lot if it's empty, and take a look at it. It is really a beautiful memorial. Steve has disappeared. <laughs> Hang on a second. Nope, just wait, doing wait, a little. What's he doing? <laughs> no, you can't crawl under the table. No, I, I, stay, stay. I have Abby with me. A lot of people know that I, that I bring her with me, and sometimes she gets a little out of control. So, <laughs> excuse me. I didn't want her to get <laughs> rambunctious. <laughs> she might still. Boy, oh boy. Now, uh, you're, I can't believe it. You said that you've been on the department how many years, Jerry? Um, I am not active. Uh, I put in close to twenty-five. You're not yes. active? I am no As longer As a commissioner, active. you're no longer active? Correct. Okay, so when did you finish up your 25? Oh, boy. Maybe 15, 20 years, 15 Jack years ago? Knows. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it's been a while. And about how long have uh, you been on, Jack? Uh, 17 years. 17 years. Now, we got this new fire truck. All right. Two of them. Two. We got two new fire two trucks. I, 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 it's funny because I just two caught the ceremony like after the fact, and thanks to Bob Newbold, a lot of these pictures I want to point out came to us from Bob Newbold because yeah. Bob is like you know 
He just does an incredible job with uh, showing up everywhere, taking all kinds of great pictures. And today he was sending us some, some wonderful shots. But that was quite a ceremony yesterday. It, it Holy was. Toledo. It was very nice. Did you make it? No, I was I, I, not at all. I wasn't around. What? I wasn't around. Oh. I was actually, uh, I, I, I'm looking at this going, wait a minute, <laughs> how did I miss this? Were you there? Yes, I was. Good thing I said yes, uh, because if I ever asked you that just now, <laughs> without a rehearsal, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yes, I tossed my uh, water balloon at the new truck one along with everybody else to wet it down. Oh, yeah, that, that's the whole thing, right? They, yeah. they wet the whole truck down? We had a priest uh, bless, yeah, bless the vehicles. And who came out to bless it? Father Daly oh. from he's the, uh, he's the, St. Uh, Mary's. From St. Mary's. I hear he's quite a guy. He is. Yeah? He, was, he was having the time of his life uh -huh. with, the, with the holy water, let mm. me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, was this something that um, had been in the works for a long time? Or was this uh, it's very um, expensive trucks, but all of them are expensive these days. What do those two cost? Jack? Well, they're on a <laughs> well, come on, we might as well uh, engine, know. I mean, engine you... one was just uh, was the latest mm -hmm. uh, piece we just arrived within what two weeks or yeah, three like, weeks. That one's six hundred and fifty. Okay, just shy okay. of seven hundred, yeah. mm -hmm. and then the rescue truck was a year before. Okay, we decided to uh, um, bring them both on. It's a the ceremony yeah. together. Oh, beautiful! Or actually, this is a company one event. It's yeah. there were their mm -hmm. trucks, so they they put that together. And, the, and they were both built from the ground up. I mean, it's not like you go into a car dealer and say, yeah. "All right, I want this model." I mean, they I, manu I would, manufacturers says, "What do you want?" And they start. And I was fortunate enough to go uh, with Jack uh, with a crew of uh, five guys out to the factory to oh. visit. Mm -hmm. And it really, was a yeah. very uh, impressive operation they have out there. Very nice people build these trucks and uh, very proud. It was uh, amazing how many trucks you find out the Now, there. what is it, um, what's the process, Mr. Mayor, because people always want to know. I mean, uh, we have to vote on whether or not we need another apparatus or how long is the process before we finally say, okay, here's the dollars to do it? it, it, it it's part of the budget process. It mm -hmm. starts there. Uh, goes through the budget process, has to go through the town manager. If it appears in the manager's proposed budget, then the council acts on it. Council approves it, part of the adopted budget. Uh, generally done on the basis of a multi-year lease purchase. Mm -hmm. So there are two, well, in this case, we went to bid for the lease purchase terms. We do that to mm -hmm. borrow, basically borrow the money. And um, the council did do a bid waiver on this. So that what does that mean? It means uh, we removed the requirement for competitive okay. bidding so that the fire department could negotiate with the manufacturer. Oh, okay. And the reason is to keep the equipment consistent with other pieces of apparatus. Okay. Everything is Pierce, I believe. That's, that's the standard for the mm -hmm. department. The advantage of that is that every piece of apparatus is laid out exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So that uh, somebody operating company one for some reason has to go to company two and operate some equipment. Oh, I get you. He'll yep. know yep. exactly what he's mm -hmm. getting into and he doesn't have to fumble around. Or if they go from truck one to rescue one, they know exactly mm -hmm. where things are. They don't have to fumble around looking for things. So now I know we had um, Scott. Do we still have um, pictures of uh, the of the uh, the two new trucks? I know I, I should have asked you this beforehand. You're probably rifling through everything in master control. There we go. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, there's the chief. That's the chief. He's uh, getting ready. A bottle of champagne. A, a bottle of champagne. <laughs> that took a few whacks. Those yeah. are, you, you guys bought some strong champagne <laughs> yesterday. Let me and tell so that's you. the. And which truck is that now? That's the rescue. That's what. Rescue one. Rescue, rescue one. one. Okay, and then that is the new engine, engine one. Engine one, just like it says on the hood there. And father to the right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and who's out there with that one? Uh, the, oh, that, oh, that was, was the priest the, out there, there. there. on was, the right side. Yeah, yeah. blessing with the holy wow. water. Wow. So how long did a ceremony go for? Well, the actual ceremony was maybe a half an hour. So how was long? How long was the celebration? Was it like the afternoon yeah. or? Um, yeah, we had uh, refreshments after and thanked mm -hmm. everyone, families and friends. It was a good turnout, right? Boy, oh boy, I know. I drove so. by and saw the trucks the other day because yeah. you had a bunch of them. Had, like the whole thing was brought out in front. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. You're getting them polished, washed, and polished, ready for 
display. The, uh, we got the big celebration coming up, too. You guys We've have put together a 100th anniversary parade? Correct. All yeah, right. That's right. That's coming up. That's coming up on a big day in Newington. Massapequa coming in? Uh, so I hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't tell those stories. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's obviously changed uh, over time. The you know the relationship. I oh, should say, I'm sure. Yes, yeah. it, it it grew uh, a little differently. Younger people and yeah. not keeping the same contact as what. Oh, him. Yeah. Was yeah. Before, so. so basically, yeah, Massapequa has been our our sister uh, department for how long? Wow. Goes um, way back because I know I was on in seventy. Three and they were that was part of it then, so I don't even know how far yeah, back it goes. It goes I believe into we have plaques back in the 60s. Yeah, it might even go. Looks like yeah. something Kylie might have been behind. Oh. Never know. Oh. Never know. We're sure. We're going to check the history. I don't book know here. if it's in here. But. Oh, yeah, and they've got this tremendous book you that they to, put together the to whole history this. of uh, of the Newington Volunteer Fire Department. Well, Look at we, that. Can you get, can get a shot of that, uh, Scott, there? At the, there we go. Now, you said that each and one of the men got the, got a copy, or, or you were able to purchase a copy of the book. Yeah, this was um, uh, when we were taking individual pictures. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> they were offered a, a package, and and that may have included this book as okay. well for okay. everybody. So it's just kind of uh, like when you get your school, you know, your class pictures done in mm -hmm. high school. Okay. And um, so uh, wow, look at that. most people did purchase it, and uh, I think there's a, they have a few extras, but... Uh, they probably have one over at the library, I'm sure. I'm hoping so, yeah, and yeah. just a lot of pictures wow. of... Uh, look at that. And, uh, Some great <clears throat> shots in there. A lot great, of work great. to put that together. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> Deputy uh, Chief uh, Vic uh, DePamphilis and, uh, and his wife, uh, mm -hmm. Captain... Um, Melanie, the Melanie's. Um, they both they worked uh, real hard on it. That had to be a lot of work to put that together. Champion really. this, and it, yeah, it was really uh, came out great. Now, of course, you know um, we had that great celebration over Kiwanis, and Al Cohen, right up until his last breath, worked on putting together that one. Uh, 100th anniversary <laughs> of the uh, of the fire department, and uh, that was a wonderful yeah. celebration. And, and Chris did a great presentation over there, and um, that was that was quite a night. That was really something. I think uh, we have some pictures of that, uh, Scott. You could show. There you go. Oh my God! Look at that thing. So that, that is our first uh, fire truck. That was uh, a chemical truck, and uh, <clears throat> that was. Um, I think that was, uh, I forgot, um, without a historian, Chief Schroeder, mm -hmm. but that was, uh, I think that was donated. Um, yeah, the, uh, the chief put together, there's a wonderful uh, PowerPoint that he did. It must have been close to a half hour presentation, and the uh, Chief Schroeder took us through the entire history of the Newington Volunteer Fire Department. And, and it, was, it was funny because we were talking about... Um, uh, just how far back, you know, that uh, the connections in town go. And Myra Cohen and uh, fought her tail off to hold on to that old firehouse in the center of town. And that was, that was quite a story. <coughs> how, uh, she was one of the few people that was really fighting to hang on to that. And that's why that's, uh, that's still in town, as beautiful as it is. And, and I know uh, Chris Schroeder really fought to hold on to that yeah. thing, too. So that was I, quite I a stand battle. corrected to show you the, the cost of a fire truck mm -hmm. these days. So that was um, uh, the cost of that real chemical truck in 1918 was $2,750. Oh and that was God. through fundraisers, and uh, they were able to appropriate that money. So uh, how much was it again? $2,750. <laughs> and how much was the most recent truck we just bought? Six hundred k. Okay. Okay. Coming in, it's over $600,000. The times are changing. And, yes. And we do get uh, a minimum of a 20-year lifespan yeah. uh, that we hold mm -hmm. on to these trucks, so they don't go out too fast. So tell us about this parade, how we're going to have this big shindig in town. What have we got planned for that? Could you tell us, Chief? Well, oh, not Chief. Sorry. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, that would be the captain. Captain, <laughs> captain Jack is the, uh, is the chair. Of the uh, of the parade, so he has all the uh, details for the day. It's uh, September 23rd. Steps off at 4:30, um, directly following the waterfall festival that'll be going on in the center of town. Oh, the same day. Uh, so yeah. Terrific. Okay. It's a busy um, day. Waterfall festival finishes at four. Our parade steps off at 4:30. Um, we have over uh, 20 different um, fire departments that will be represented that day. With over uh, like I think we're up to over 40 
different uh, apparatus mm -hmm. from all over the state, including um, our 1929 Buffaloes, the first engine one, the original engine one. We have the Han, which is privately owned now by one of our members, will be coming. And um, I believe there's uh, all three generations or four generations of engine one will be there. Oh, wow. um, and uh, we have uh, following directly following the parade, we'll have a, um, a party and a celebration in Mill Pond Park with uh, Jeff Pitchell Band and Texas Flood. Will be beverages. Um, we'll have a children's tent with uh, Junior Firefighters Challenge, um, balloons, face painting, uh, plenty of stuff for the kids to do. And uh, you have you have um, departments coming from all over the place to celebrate with us, or yep, yeah. We have all our task force towns. We'll be coming with, um, I believe, as far out as Holland, Mass. Really? Uh, coming to celebrate with us. The parade will be judged by the Connecticut Parade Marshals. Okay, so, so, so there's a, a ju they judge the parade itself. Are you looking for the best trucks, or what do you look for? Yeah, they have a whole um, um, itinerary of, of different categories. Mm -hmm. uh, how many men in line in, line in march, um, uniform personnel with jackets, just uh, in shirts. Um, the largest apparatus to the smallest apparatus. There's probably about uh, 16 different trophies that'll be handed out. Wow. Boy, oh boy, that sounds like a, this. This has been quite a time putting this all together. How big's your committee? Uh, committee, the the general part of the committee. There's probably about ten of us, mm -hmm. but we reach out to our whole department, and we have some volunteers from the community groups that are helping us out. And um, probably to pull it all off, we'll probably take all 50, 60 of us to pull it off that day. Wow, and then a big party at the end of the parade. Perfect. So, yes. And it'll be in the park, and of course that's about time because that's where the waterfall is. Ah, every, that's right. every time we have the waterfall right. festival, I go, how come we're not down at the waterfall? It's, uh, <laughs> it's a whole explanation behind that. But um, now how are we doing overall with the fire department? Are we looking for more volunteers, or what's our current status with it? We're about, um, we're probably about 20 members shy of being at our full Mm -hmm. Our full capacity. Always looking for more. Uh, we're always looking for a good volunteer. If somebody volunteer. wants to join, what would he or she do? And notice I added she because you do have women who are members. Yeah, they just come down. They can fill out an application, submit it to headquarters, and um, the, it'll go to our personnel division. The personnel division will review the application, and they'll interview the person. And uh, they have a process mm -hmm. that they have to go through. They'll have to do a physical, stuff like that. Okay. But, um, just start off by filling out a application. Right. That's the best way. And the training is incredible that you guys go through. Nothing compared to what I was on. You know, right. I, I, I was very fortunate to um, to spend about uh, four years in the Newington Volunteer Fire Department, and it really gives you a whole different way of, of looking at the town and, and appreciating this stuff. And, and you guys do everything right now that the that the big shots do, the paid departments do. It's uh, there's no difference. The no difference at all, except you're not getting any money. All right, let's. Uh, we've got a call. <laughs> we got a call coming in eight six zero six six seven five eight one four. Got some feedback here, fellas. All right. Okay, guys, why don't we do this? Uh, Pam? Hi. Hi, Pam, how are you? We've got Pam Lavery on the phone. How's it going, Pam? Everything's good. Good, good. Can you guys hear her all right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, good. Hi, Pam. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of noise in the background. Uh, I, Pam is, a, a, you know, this year, of course, we have the Peter Lavery ride, which is a, a, big, a big ride we've been having it every year. How many, is this the 13th, uh, Pam? Now, I understand that you did something a little bit special with the T-shirt for the uh, 13th uh, anniversary of the, of the, uh, of the ride. What did, you, what did you do this year that was so different? Well, we really wanted to um, show our thanks and appreciation to, for all the support and help that the Newington Volunteer Fire Department gives us each year. Yeah. And so we wanted to get a photograph of the bike writing underneath the flag because they do put out their flag for the bikes to run under. Well, let's and do that. And all the other towns do as well. Many of the other towns do. I don't think all of them do, but Here's so it's a, uh, a really special part of the ride, and, and people do talk about it a lot. It's, it's just an overwhelming experience. Check this riding out. Riding underneath all these flags that are suspended from the tall ladders of the fire trucks. So that's what we did with our t-shirt this year. We Can we get a close-up uh, shot of that, Scott? Design 
where there's the Noynton fire truck with the ladder up oh, that's and nice. the flag oh, yeah, hanging man. and the bikes are coming that. down the road on the side. Wow, that's that's a great way to celebrate the fire department and Peter. Yeah. Look at that. That is really something. It was very meaningful to us. We, we really worked hard on it. We ran into a few obstacles. We figured out how to overcome those obstacles. And so we do have the shirt. Um, we, we did, unfortunately, um, miss the extravaganza because the shirts were not ready at that time. So we were not able to go to the extravaganza and sell them. Um, but we will be selling them at the ride. And they are also for sale at Connecticut Police Supply and Jengris. Harley Davidson. Boy, I tell you, you got a lot of great sponsors wow. this year, too. We do, we do. Sue Leonard every year uh, donates all of our food. Um, Pronto Printer does our printing of our flyers and posters, and Starbucks gives us our coffee. Uh, Connecticut Police Supply helps us out. TJ's on Cedar helps us out. Those are the ones just in Newington. And then we have a bunch that are out of town as well. We have uh, General Paving and Construction, Soroy Tool, Shark Entertainment does our uh, DJing for Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Kitchen, Dengris, Trantolo. Wow. We have a lot of um, sponsors that support us year after year, which is so, you know, we're so appreciative of all that they do. We get so much support from everybody. And then the volunteers, the people that come out to help us on the day of the ride. And, and you know, we couldn't do it. The Newington Police Department, the F Volunteer Fire Department, and Parks and Recreation, they do so much to help us as well. So, Boy, I, I, it would not be held if it weren't for all these people being very generous with their time, their um, support. Now, now Pam, um, if, if uh, I mean, Peter's got to be ecstatic watching downovers, I'm sure. Do you think he'd be pretty excited about this event? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You think you think Peter would be pretty excited about oh the way God. it's turned out? He would absolutely <laughs> love this. Yes. <laughs> yes. He did a lot of these rides. Yeah. Now, so this is something that I'm sure he rides along with us and is feeling a lot of pride. Yeah. Well, you, he also rode uh, to uh, for 9-11, didn't he? He did. Yes, he did that for many years. Uh, he's done a lot of rides. Yep. Yeah, well, I, I think it's a great way that, that you and the town and all these motorcycles, all the people to come forward and really, really uh, hunker down for this, because this is a big, big job that you have every year, Pam. It is. It is. Um, it's, we, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it. It's a lot of worry and, you know, a lot of stressing about certain things. Um, so hopefully this year is going to be good weather. Um, you know, we're going to get a good crowd, and uh, we're, we're going to ride our bike. And we're going to um, Sounds good. ride in memory of a man who gave his all to the town of Newington. And you rode on the back of that bike quite a few times, didn't you, Pam? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Did you ride with him quite a few times? I do ride. Uh, you still ride? I do. I, I ride on the back of somebody's bike, a friend. <laughs> My son rides Peter's bike. Oh, really? Good. Oh, yeah. He rides that every year. Right. What do you guys think of the shirts? Excellent. Awesome yeah. shirt. Yeah. I love you like that? I love you like it. that? Came out really nice. Okay. Take a look at it. I'm just, I'm just showing them the shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, show them. That is really, really beautiful. That's great. And uh, if, if you've never been to the ride, it's really something. you got to come see it. It leaves out of Churchill nice. Park, and it'll be uh, this Sunday, right? Yeah, come on, then. 16. I think this this Sunday? Yeah. yeah uh, this Sunday, September 17th. Yeah. And 17. registration opens at 8 o'clock. Yeah, you got it. And then the ride departs at 10. Yeah. And I think we ride through about seven different towns. Yeah. Police escorted. There's a number of uh, police <coughs> that, that um, escort us through the ride. They close the road. We keep the riders safe. And it's, it's very well organized. We hear all the time feedback from people saying it's one of the best run rides that they've ever been on. Well. So th then we come back to Churchill Park and uh, Sue Leonard has her cook and uh, Craig Brown is helping us cook again this year. Um, oh, wow. Fun. Yeah, Craig, uh, we lost Jim Brown, of yeah. course, last yeah, year. So I'm really excited that yeah. he's back. We missed him last year. Yeah. And Craig will um, be there, son, yeah. So, yeah, we have uh, 
you know, we come back and we have a, a lunch, and then that's it. People go off and, and do their own thing. Well, God bless you, Pam. I, I, I love the fact that it's a, such a huge celebration, and all the police motorcycles, they come from everywhere, Pam. It's amazing. Uh, all over the state. They yeah. come from all over. It's amazing. The whole front of that parade is just one police motorcycle after another, and it's just, oh, my God. You can, and you can really feel Peter's spirit around there. It's really wonderful. Yeah. All right, well, have a great ride, Pam. Thank you so much for calling and the t-shirts are awesome. I'm glad you like them, Steve. I'm really glad you like them. So thank you very much. And again, tell your viewers that if they would like to purchase one, they could come to the ride and purchase one or in Newington at Connecticut Police Supply or Jengris Harley-Davidson. All right, Pam. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. 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 All right. She's amazing. Yes, yeah, she fact, is. That T-shirt, nobody's hardly seen him. I think I, I think know, she may have a... gotten one over to the chief. Oh, and um, yeah, don't go mine. anywhere with it. That's I mine. mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was at uh, I was uh -oh. at Pam's Pam's house uh, today, and um, she, had, you know, we were talking about the show tonight, and she, and she said, you know, <laughs> Vicky, I might need you in here to get the dog. <laughs> you got a um, scene stealer it there, was, you know. Um, it was really something she said, you know, if you're around, you know, just feel free to, you know, come by the house and, uh, and I'll give you a shirt that you can use for the show. So that was, uh, that was pretty good. Good. All right, guys, so it's going to be coming up on the 23rd, right? Okay. 23rd, 430. Yes. Anything else we need to be aware of? Good? No, we're going to no. have a good time. A lot of apparatus. For the weather cooperates. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, and if people want to get, um, and you, as far as you know, though, the books are strictly for the department right now, right? And, may, and maybe you're going to try to have one over at the library if that's a go, if people want to take a look at the book? Yeah, I, I, I would assume we'll, you know, we'll, we'll bring that up to the I'd say just keep an eye the on the fire department's website. If, okay. we'll, if there's extra for the public available, mm -hmm. they'll be posted on our website. Terrific. Terrific. All right, what's the website? Um, just Newington exactly. Volunteer Fire Department. Just type Google Newington Volunteer Fire Department, and it'll come. And you're right. also on Facebook, right? Correct. Everybody's on Facebook. We're under the dot .gov, I think, too, right? If you yeah, um, okay. navigate underneath there, I would assume. All right, good. So. All yeah. right. Well, special thanks to Captain Jack Nesclata and also our Commissioner Jerry Langeal. And a Thanks. shout out to Chief Schroeder. Hope here, here. he feels Hope you're better. Hope you're Chief. feeling better, Chief. I know he'd be here. So. All right. Yeah, he's great. He, and he did a great job. I, and I will. I do want to point out that the Kiwanis presentation was phenomenal mm -hmm. uh, that, the, that the Chief did. And I seriously mean it. Al Cohen, this was a huge undertaking for the late Al Cohen. God rest his soul. I was with Al uh, the morning that, of the day that he passed away, and we were finalizing that program for Kiwanis. And all he kept saying was he, he just, he was so proud to be putting this 100th anniversary together with you guys, and he was just so concerned that it come out right, that it really came out right for you guys. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to make sure that Chris was happy, and, and uh, it was just uh, right after I got off the phone with Chris is when uh, I got the word that, that Al had passed away. But it was great to be able to, to tell Al, after he's going through it, that we were going to be meeting with Chris and that it was all taken care of. And I think once he knew that um, that final assignment of his was done, I, uh, I think he was able to really rest mm -hmm. in peace. So yeah. great job, and great job by Al. God bless you, Al, and you guys just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. And stay Thanks, safe. <laughs> and stay safe. Yes. All Thank right, you. now the mayor and I got to rip apart the rest. Of, I mean, we got to go over <laughs> some of the other things that are happening around town. There's yeah, the 100th right. anniversary of the Newington Fire Department. Look at that. 100 that's right. years. That's right. Absolutely incredible. All right. And don't okay, guys. The, don't forget the parade on the 23rd and the Waterfall Festival before that. Yep, the Waterfall Festival will be, then go right into the parade. I think we've got. Uh, and, and I think we've got Johnny. You got to come in here and uh, get him. The move the studio around good. a little bit. The weather better away. be good. That's all I can say. Oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. It's I'll, be I'll good. issue a mayoral order for all the good that. Well, I tell you that uh, that work that you've got going on down in Cedar Street is really something. That Holy is cow. really something. That they're in the big final push to get it done by the end of October. Um, if you if you haven't been on Cedar Street, uh, be ready for delays, because there's a lot of work going on on the. Uh, overpass over the Amtrak tracks right now, so expect lane closures. A lot of it's being done on the heavy stuff's being done on weekends and nights, but during the day too, you can expect to be slowed down. Well, so, let me tell you something. I go to when I'm on the air at WTIC. I go on the air, and I think it's. Um, I go on at 5:30. Yeah. So when I pull out on the Cedar Street, it's around five or so. Well, when they're moving a, a crane yep. across Cedar yep. Street in the middle of the night, 
It yep. kind of throws you off a bit. Yep. <laughs> no way to get around the crane. No, no, no. In fact, the other um, the other morning when I was going through, I, uh, I, you know, I didn't want to upset the policeman. The last thing you want to do is upset a policeman. No. It's, you know, but I also know I have to be on the radio at 5:30. <laughs> and I said, um, um, should I, uh, should I go the other way? <laughs> he says, oh, I'll just be another 30 seconds or so. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's an amazing job down there. Yeah. But sometimes I even hear it on the radio. They say, okay, you know. Slow down. Yeah. Uh, maybe want to, you know, avoid Cedar Street for That's a little right. bit. And uh, it, it's uh, it, they're doing a great job. I just don't know what what is the whole thing about? They just trying to widen it. They're or widening the, the uh, overpass. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, which may or may not be uh, in preparation for more work being done at the Maple Hill Alumni Road intersection. Okay. That's, okay. That's. Yeah. Uh, being reviewed now by Department of Transportation, as you know, the town uh, council sent a plan to redo that intersection, and it's in the hands of DOT right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you something, that um, Peter Lavery was just such an amazing man. Pete, you know Pete, I, I knew Pete, of course, and his brothers, uh, yep. Jimmy and Jerry, great guys, great guys. Well, you and, know, he... Um, he just had this this incredible uh, aura about him. Oh, he you did. Know? Like he he, did. he was the he was the guy that you know he had such an air of confidence about yeah. him, you know, and such a great sense of humor. Uh, I it's a wonderful I, I, Irishman. I, 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 I don't remember ever seeing him without a big smile mm -hmm. on his face. Mm -hmm. to tell you the truth. Oh yeah, and he was really oh my gosh, such yeah. a such a motorcyclist, and and it was really nice, you know, because uh, we do have the gathering uh, December thirtieth yeah. every year. It's kind of a solemn yes. gathering in front of the fire uh, in front of the police okay. department. And uh, of course, we have the Peter Lavery yep. uh, logo when you go in. Yep. It was yeah. We we have uh, the chair of the Waterfall Festival waiting on the line. For Teresa our... Reynolds is on the line with us. Good evening, Teresa. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What have we got going on? The Waterfall Festival is back, and it's is it going to be bigger and better than ever? It is September twenty third. Uh huh. September twenty third. What are the hours on it? I'm sorry. What, and what are the hours? September 23rd from 10 to 4. Yeah. And then it's going to be followed by the fire department's 100th anniversary um, parade at 4.30. So what are we going to find at this year's Waterfall Festival? What makes it terrific? You're going to find it's free to attend. There's children's activities. There's vendors. Um, there's food vendors. There's arts and crafts. There's all types of vendors, so it's, it's great for anybody. Um, we have a children's tent with arts and crafts that they can do. We have entertainment going all day. We have um, from 10 o'clock until 3.30. We have live bands. We have dance entertainment. So it should be pretty good. Well, I, how many years has it been now that you've been doing it, Teresa? Since um, it's, The Waterfall Festival started in 2000, and I've been doing it now for six years. Wow. So it's been great. And the Chalk Walk is another great feature of it. We have the children's and the adult artists, and they line the streets with these beautiful um, artist renderings that they do, and it's really nice. Now, if somebody wants to be part of it, like the Chalk Walk, uh, is there a registration cutoff or anything for that, Teresa? They, we do take walk-ins. There is a cutoff. You know, we can only allow a certain number of people and we, for adults and children, but you are allowed to just walk in that day. And you can, it's either 5 or $10, depending if it's child or adult, and you can come in and, and do your painting. Now, have you, are you artistically inclined? No, I'm no. not. Or no, not. I'm not. It's okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and then who judges them? Do you have a, a select group of judges that come in, or who, who does the judging? We have the Newington Art League. They, have, they do the judging, and we have um, the adults, the juniors, the children. But we also have a People's Choice Award, so everybody, the public, can just do, um, take some forms put them in a box and say who they like the best and so it's it's nice you have judges plus you have the people's choice which is which is a good variety and everything just stays there until we get a rain and it's all gone right yes <laughs> so they, it looks like they're going to be displayed for quite a while we don't have any rain for coming up for a while in the forecast uh, hopefully Pray for good weather. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep our fingers crossed on that. Yes, yes. Well, I know, wasn't, uh, Val Ginn was involved in the very beginning, yeah. right, Teresa? I, I can't, I'm sorry? Val Ginn was involved in the very beginning, wasn't she? The, 
I, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, she yeah. was. Yeah, Val Ginn was involved. She, she did, and actually, Tanya Lane, who's now our, our town manager. Oh yeah. Um, they started in 2000. They started it together. So yeah. it's pretty interesting that now she's our town manager, and she originally started and. You know, we work together with her now. That's great. terrific. It's great. All right, Teresa, best of luck, and thanks a lot Thank for calling in. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. care, Teresa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, the uh, things are really humming. We are got more things going on in September, and, of course, That's right. what else? It's the run for Dom. That's on the 6th. Yeah, the 17th. 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 Sunday the 17th, I believe. Let me see here. No, oh, no, Saturday it's Saturday the 16th. 16th. I apologize. Otherwise, otherwise, it would be up against the Lavery Road. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, it's Saturday the 16th, 16th. 9 o'clock. And uh, it starts over the Mill Palm Park and, on Garfield Street. And we have Matt Mazzicoli on the line. Today. Matt Mazzicoli is on the line with us right now. Hi, Matt. Yes. Hey, Steve. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Thanks for having me tonight. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you just fine, Matt. Can you hear us, Matt? Yes, thank you so much. Oh, it's great. It's great to have you. Matt, tell us, tell us a little bit about your dad, if you would. Yeah, so my dad, um, he was a part of uh, government for a while. You know, he was on the town council from 81 to 83. Uh, mayor of Newington from 85 to 91 and a state rep from 92 to 98. And, uh, you know, it almost seems cliche to do a run, um, you know, to raise awareness and money for a disease of any kind. But it was really his pastime. He would run, you know, up to six miles a day during his lunch break. And he was just very active. And it was something that he was very passionate about. And what did, uh, did he work at one of the insurance companies? Fill me in on that. Yeah, so um, my dad, he worked for Travelers, uh, which was one of his first jobs. Actually, when he got the job, he was offered $10,000, and me and him and my mom at the time went crazy because that was unheard of, and they were so happy about that. Uh -huh. um, and, and he worked for Travelers for uh, over 20 years as director of national accounts and property, and then uh, he went to Housing Authority Insurance in Cheshire, um, and he was the chief underwriting officer there where he retired. Well, and I think it's, it, when was it exactly that we did, that we did lose him, Matt? What date, what date was that? Um, I'm sorry, what was that? What, what day did he pass away on, Matt? Oh, yeah. The date he passed away, it was February 11, 2016. Amazing. It was, and it's so, so he got to see quite a few of these runs. Yeah, I'm sorry? He got to see quite a few of the runs that we did then. He was yeah, he did. Yeah, the first couple of years uh, we um, had, you know, the nurses 24-7 at home with him. And what they did is we set up the iPad so he could see the run uh, live. And my mm -hmm. sister would record that as it was going on. So it was really nice. I think, I think actually, I, I think we have a picture. Do we still have that picture back there, Scott? I think we had a shot of, um, that, there's Don. Didn't we have a shot of the race? I think Bob Newbold, if we can find that, um, we did have a nice shot because Bill Rogers has, has run this race, and I guess he was a friend of your dad's, right? Was Bill a friend? Yeah, they were friends in high school, and they often, uh, you know, I think that's where, you know, my dad also enhanced his passion for running was through Bill. Yeah. And uh, and so uh, Bill Bill came for many, many years. And I know we have um, he is really the fact that he came home to the hometown and he won the uh, the Boston Marathon many, many years ago. Yeah. Bill was. Quite... Yeah, I, I believe it was four years in a row. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, there was um, there was he actually went to uh, the New York Marathon as well. I believe he um, placed in that, too. So it was quite an inspiration to have him there and support us. It was just, you know, a big name like that in running. Um, it was just great to have him come out and support us and, and also represent the town of Newington. Yeah, I, I, remember, um, I, I remember his mom used to work at a jewelry store, Sebastian Jewelers, and she was always going on and on about Bill, always saying just the, how great he was. And he's, still, he's, he's not coming in this year, is he? I don't think he is, but um, we're, you know, last year we, we had a great showing. Um, I believe it was, um, let me check, double check here. I believe it was about just over um, 150, or we had 150 people last year. So we're looking to get, you know, that and or more every year to grow and grow. 
Boy, oh boy. I think I think it's wonderful. I think it's great that you carry them on like this. But you got to tell me, Matt. You got to tell me. Give me one story about your dad as a dad. Something that, you know, what, what, what did you really look up to? What was it about him? I know you, you also, you're in business now and you're very successful. But as a boy, is there something that really... That I'm sure there's a lot of things that really stand out, but maybe maybe something to do when, uh, with him, a, a story when you were growing up. Yeah, definitely. I think you know there was there was a time, um, you know, when uh, it, there was always a, a, a lot of different stories about my dad um, just doing the right thing, being able to help people, uh, wanting to help people, always standing up for doing the right thing, uh, which is something I, you know, love to carry on and uh, remember him for. Um, but there was one story in particular that is constantly shared, um, and it had to do a little bit with politics. My dad was, you know, being the mayor of Newington, there was a lot of calls to the House, as I'm sure Mr. Mayor knows, because, you know, your information is public. So many people are calling on you for all different types of things. Uh, throughout your term, and um, my parents were actually, and my sisters were leaving for Florida, they were going to Disney World, and uh, they were going on vacation, and they, uh, my dad had to, they were late to the airport, and my dad had to stop and mow the lawn for one of the residents in Newington because the lady couldn't do it. She lived on her own, and so he mowed the lawn for her before their uh, trip to the airport and they're almost late for their flight but it was it was those type of things that he did just out of the ordinary uh stepping you know into line of fire for people or just stopping and shaking someone's hand listening to what they had to say it was always nice and something else too was he always and something i like about our current mayor right now he always makes sure he looks the part he always has the bow tie on straight, and I love that. Uh, my you, dad, dad was always um, uh, he always was looking to dress to impress. I remember him, you know, that was his thing. You know, he had to comb the hair, had to wear a nice suit, and I, I carry that on too today. And I uh, will say, myself. his hair always looked good, and that's just because in the Mazzacoli family, you got to make sure you've always got your hair done right. Yeah, true. <laughs> Exactly. We got some barbers in the family. Well, we know that for many, many years that your grandfather Rocco was the real mayor of Newington. Oh, <laughs> if you wanted, yeah. to, if you wanted to know what was happening in Newington, you go in the modern barber shop, and Rocco, Rocco was the driving force behind this town politically for many years. Rocco and Frank Zuraski, yep. they, they they really ran the town. Yep, yep. And Matt, <laughs> Matt I, I've got to tell you too, one 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 little thing about your dad that really stuck with me and served as, uh, I guess, the inspiration for my running office hours now is that a state rep, he would periodically sit down in the uh, community room at the library uh, uh -huh. for a state representative office hours. I went in a couple of times, and that, that made an impression on me. It stuck with me when I was elected to office. I started my own office hours too, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah. it, 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 your dad was really uh, at the root of that idea. Yeah, yeah, that's in, that's incredible. I love hearing stuff like that. Appreciate and he, you he, sharing that. He always smiled, and of course, that's one of the toughest things. I mean, especially as a political figure, to sometimes be out there and trying to keep that positive energy going on, even though you know things could be tough at work, things could be there could be challenges, there could be you know one of the kids could be sick, mm -hmm. but uh, he always had to be out there and always put that great positive attitude across. He just uh, we miss him, we miss him big time. He was just uh, I remember I remember him in here one night. Uh, um, boy, I guess he was he was doing uh, he was doing I think he was involved uh, with the with the state race then, and he came in here and he just. Uh, what a smile! What a smile! And, and very, um, very captivating eyes. He really had a, always had a twinkle in his eye. Great, great guy. Great guy. Yeah. All right. Well, th so th it's going to be the big run Saturday, September sixteenth, nine o'clock in the yeah, morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, guys, it's you know Saturday the sixteenth. If you haven't signed up yet, you can go on runfordom.com. You just press, um, you know 
the uh, register, or if you can't come, you know, you press the donate button. Anything counts, a dollar, $500, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. And um, you can go there. And if you don't register online, if you don't have time to do that, you don't have access, um, the morning of the race, we're going to be there at 730. You can come and register. And we, you know, I really appreciate you guys um giving us this platform to get the news out there and have uh, people know what the information is and come support us. Well, i tell you something, you know, I mean, I, I remember just, uh, I remember Dom coming into the TV studio in the early days, you know, when we were just, when we were just getting things started here and he was always so supportive. And of course, the Mazzacoli name's always synonymous with Newington. So if we're here, you need anything, just let us know, okay? Yeah, I just want to say also, uh, just a quick thank you to you know, our sponsors, we had some um, great sponsors in uh, Newington, Steve, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. And, yeah, we had uh, Connecticut Mattress, which was a, a platinum sponsor. They gave $500, which is unbelievable. Wow. Um, we had uh, the Mattia Family Foundation, which gave $1,000. And then some other gold sponsors who just have been really supportive over the years uh gary or um carrie cagnan oh. dunkin donuts yeah yep uh jb sports gear uh, the j hay remodeling uh where my dad used to work housing authority insurance group mm -hmm. newington uh republican town committee uh pillar to post home inspectors and uh shanko real estate so just want to say thank you to them team dom who grew up with my dad in high school there's you know they've helped us and they've you know been every, there every single step they've done most of the work for me and my sisters and um you know i have to, to you know shout out to them too because i know they're listening and uh especially my sisters too have been a great support so i appreciate it again guys thanks so much for taking the time no it's it's our honor to be able to talk up dom and and thank you so much for finding some time to call in and uh it's great it's great that his 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 whole spirit lives on and especially in a running event like this because uh i'm sure you know he would he i i still remember him running around town all the time that's probably how he kept that thinness about him. He That's always looked right. good. I always looked good running through town like I, that. I remember him running up the old Cedar Street. Oh, really? I saw, you know, up Cedar Mountain yep. on the old Cedar Street. Mm -hmm. that, that impressed me, too. I mean, yeah. How could he My, do that? And he said, I, uh, every once in a while, I asked him about it, he said, every once in a while, I do it just, just to do it. So good yeah. for him. Yeah, it was unbelievable. But, you know, you mentioned that my brother-in-law actually was riding up um, in his uh, car the other day up Cedar Mountain. He had a bend in it one a while, and he was thinking about that, how my dad used to say he would do that. Yep. He's like, my car hardly made it up the mountain. I can't believe, you know, your dad <laughs> made it up the mountain a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, best of luck to you, and I hope it go everything goes well and the weather's with you, and uh, I'm sure it will be because you got a lot of cloud upstairs. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate Thank it. You, you too, Matt. Matt. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, all right, boy, oh boy, we got. Before we go anywhere, though, because I know we only have a few minutes left, and sometimes I, I, I fly out of here without thanking our volunteers. Make sure We've you got, thank our volunteers. Yep, Scott day. Allo, Ellen Schiller, Robert Blank, John Donahue, Michael Rosencrantz, Paolo Aka, and who's a, a new volunteer. Thank you so much, Paolo, for coming and joining us. Vicki Rosencrantz, because, hey, uh, the food that we have here, every event, every time we do something here, uh, Vicki spends endless hours just catering. She's, yes, she's a great lady. And, uh, Up all night, yeah. thank you. And she even brings her son, Mike, along every now and then to you know, play in the uh, master <laughs> control room. So thanks a lot, Vicki. We really, really appreciate that. And we understand the doctor is not able to be here tonight, but Doc Rosencrantz, the whole Rosencrantz uh, clan, we wouldn't, do any, wouldn't be able to do anything without them. All right, all right we've only got a few minutes left. All what right, else do we need to know about? Real quick, before we get into that thing from Human Services. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Also, on the 23rd, 23rd's going to be a big, big day. Yep. Because uh, the Hartford Sanger Bund is doing its Oktoberfest oh. tuba, tuba Frau Band. Uh, <laughs> like uh, you're saying it. What is it? The, uh, the, the Tuba Women Band. I, but uh, they're, they're having their uh, Oktoberfest with schnitzel, Wurst, sauerkraut, etc. Oktoberfest beer. That's on the 23rd, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
uh, at their building on North Mountain Road. Also, on the 23rd at the Portuguese Club is a Stand Up to Cancer charity dinner night, a buffet catered by the Nutshell Cafe. Uh, that, that Let's see, the Stand Up for Cancer tickets start at $30. Oktoberfest, uh, the admission is $5, so... No reason to go hungry on the 23rd uh, on top of the party after the parade at Millpon Park. Man, oh, man, it's you so many things going on. Uh, also, we got a note from uh, Carol Lebrecht. Uh, she was going to be with us tonight, but she's also with, uh, um, uh, with the Youth Adult Council. And of course, she runs our Human Services Department now. And she just wanted to know that the first is the first— um, Let's see, the uh, this first presentation for a series that we are starting known as Wellness Wednesdays, where we will provide a presenter or training on various wellness issues starting the first Wednesday in October at 6.30 p.m. at the Town Hall Auditorium. And they'll be doing them on the first Wednesdays of every month through June. Topics will include nutrition and motion, the mind, body connection, uh, financial wellness and how to achieve the same, opiate use and substance use disorders, the symptoms, behaviors, treatments, stress, youth mental health issues, and many more. And uh, so you, the, the human, uh, human Services is staying on top of all these things. And they're going to be Wellness Wednesdays. And it's going to be uh, 6.30 p.m. on the first, uh, first Wednesday of each month in the Town Hall Auditorium. And also there's going to be a wine tasting fundraiser sponsored by the Hunger Action Team. They call it HAT of Newington. Uh, you can call, uh, let's see, bum, bum. again, uh, check with uh, Human Services. Call 665-8660, uh, 665-8660, uh, and I'm sure that Carol Lebrecht or any of her team can uh, let you in on all the great things going on. So uh, sorry, Carol, that you couldn't be here, but uh, yeah. maybe we can have her the next time. Yeah, especially for the wine tasting. <laughs> well, she she was ready to send us experts on it. <laughs> Gonna have to turn into a wine tasting program in here, but that that would be a, a little bit uh, a little bit out of control. What else? Hey, uh, you, you you heard about the uh, data breach at Equifax, the big credit reporting company? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hackers got in. They got maybe 143 million accounts, yep. uh, name, social security number, DOB, etc. Uh, just to let people know that Equifax has set up a dedicated website to help consumers determine if their information has been potentially compromised or impacted. Just to let everyone know that uh, website is www.equifaxsecurity2017.com. You want to say that one more time? I'm going to. <laughs> EquifaxSecurity2017.com. Well, and I've been in there. I checked it out. What you do is you put in your last name and last six digits of your social security number, and you get a message back saying you're good or you're not so good. Okay. And so far I'm good, and I, I'm have it on faith that it is a legitimate website and it's not one fishing for my information. So, What about a phone number, Mr. Mayor, if anybody wants to ever try to reach you and they have questions on this or something else? 860-665-8510 or stop by Thursday morning, 9 to 10 at the Newington Senior and Disabled Center or 5.30 to 6.30 in my office in the town hall. This is every th Thursday? Every Thursday. Okay, so what what time again, the senior center? Uh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. And 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. in my office. Perfect. All right. Check, right. however, my Facebook page, Mayor Z for Newington, uh, and just to make sure I didn't have to change the schedule at the last minute. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Um, our next program is going to be uh, the first Monday in October, which looks like it's going to be October 2nd. You can also send us a, an email anytime and talk to the mayor at nctv.org. And um, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And we'll be, uh, our After the Bell program is going to be coming up on the third Wednesday uh, in, uh, in September, too. So hopefully you can tune in and check us out for that at 7 o'clock on the third Wednesday. All right. I'm Steve Parker. He's your mayor, Roy Z. Thank you so Good. much. Thank you, Steve. See, Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you all over town during the month of September. We're everywhere, and so is in the gang from Channel 14. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.